Hello and welcome. This is George Lennis with Everspecher. In this video, we will review how to operate the airtronic pump heater in a Class 8 truck. Idling a truck engine overnight while resting or waiting for a load could be a costly venture. An idling heavy duty truck consumes approximately one gallon of fuel per hour. At idle, the engine emits more pollutants into the air and causes more engine wear than when operating under a load. The Airtronic bunk heater from Everspecher provides heat to the truck sleeper while the truck engine is switched off. It creates and circulates heat throughout the sleeper using diesel as a fuel source. Each heater has several redundant safety systems to ensure the comfort and security of the driver. Before switching on the heater, ensure that the truck parking brake is set and the ignition key is set to the off position or to the accessories position. Use the Digimax controller on the sleeper panel to operate the heater and to adjust the preferred set point temperature. The green LED light will light up to indicate that the heater has been switched on. The heater runtime is set to a maximum of 10 hours as a factory default. The display will show the operating status of the heater, the remaining heater runtime, and the preferred set point temperature. When the heater is switched on, the fan will be activated slowly at first, and then it'll ramp up in speed. Colder air will begin to flow out through the vents. The fuel supply to the heater is only switched on after about a minute later into the startup phase. The fuel pump clicks will be heard. The fuel pump is mounted in close proximity to the fuel tank or on the fuel tank itself. After the fuel in the airtronic heater is successfully ignited, warmer air will begin to flow out through the air duct vents. This will only happen two to six minutes after the heater has been switched on. In some cases, if the heater has an issue and fails to start up in the first attempt, it'll automatically make a restart attempt. Do not interrupt the heater operation during the startup process and allow it to go through its complete cycle from the beginning till the end. During the heater start attempts, sometimes a light smoky haze may be seen from the exhaust pipe. In most cases, this light haze will eventually clear up after the heater starts. Presence of a thicker and continuous smoke from the exhaust pipe with frequent failures to start up is a sign that the heater should be immediately serviced. The Digimax controller has a built-in maintenance alert message system that is set to activate after every 1,000 hours of heater operation. When the message maintenance required appears on the display, always schedule a routine heater service. It is safe to use and operate the heater while waiting for the scheduled service, even when the maintenance required message is being displayed. In the event the heater fails to start, the fuel pump will be automatically switched off and the heater goes through a cool-down cycle before switching off. This cool-down cycle may take up to four minutes to be completed before the heater fan stops. Always allow the heater to complete its cool-down cycle before trying to switch it back on again. Please do not attempt to restart the heater more than twice, as this may cause excessive fuel accumulation in the heater. In case of a heater fault, the red LED light on the Digimax controller will light up and the display will indicate the fault condition. To ensure that a heater operates without interruption, the discharge vents should not be blocked and the return air flow should not be restricted. Make sure there are no objects pushing up against the heater or placed in close proximity to it that may damage the heater or cause air flow restrictions. Please do not store any flammable liquids or dangerous materials next to the heater. Ensure that the Digimax controller mounted on the sleeper panel is not being restricted and is not damaged. Make sure the fuel in the fuel tanks are above the minimum level required for heater operation. Check if the heater fuel lines, fuel hoses, clamps, and pickup tubes are not damaged. Check if the electrical connections on the fuel pump and on the fuel pump harnesses are in good condition. Ensure that the truck batteries are sufficiently charged and that the electrical system in the truck is not being overwhelmed due to simultaneous operation of other equipments like microwaves, TVs, gaming consoles, etc. If the heater starts up but quits during the operation, check for any airflow restrictions both on the intake side and on the discharge side of the heater. Always check if the operational parameters in the Digimax controller are set correctly. It is recommended to start and test run the heater for a minimum of 15 minutes every month with the temperature set to maximum at the Digimax controller. This should be done all year long, even during the summer months. This simple but very effective routine maintenance practice will ensure that the Eberspatcher Airtronic Pump Heater continues to give uninterrupted service. Thank you for watching.